Yeah. You can continue. Yeah. I um, again uh, welcome to this um, lecture. Uh, this is the LPS uh, course, and um, we are continuing with uh, looking at programming in TK, Tickle TK. Uh, we covered all the Tickle functions and how to write Tickle uh, procedures, Tickle code. Uh, now we are looking into the TK functionality. We started last uh, time, uh, last lecture. We discussed uh, some of the the key elements in uh, TK. We kind of uh, went through like some basic commands. Uh, and then we also like talked about the the packer that is available that is uh, how to pack uh, the widgets basically so today we will be looking more into the tk stuff um, and um, let's start um, so today we are going to talk about bindings essentially so the bindings are one of the key elements um, in um, in the tk so as you know like i mean uh, tk is a um, uh, GUI programming, so all you are seeing is the graphic user interface uh, essentially, which is uh, controlled through the cursor movements and the clicks basically. Now, for any click to be effective, those uh, wherever you are clicking that needs to be bound to certain uh, scripts. So, today we are going to talk about the binding as to how to bind a tickle script with uh, user events. Um, so here the command is bind um, so the command is bind um, and then here we know the window which is the, the dot b and then we bind what is the event essentially here the event is control H essentially so that is the, the event that we want to bind and then now we are binding to a script which is in this uh, whole thing basically so when you press the control H it translates into a tab and uh, that is through this this particular um, binding that um, we can select and then um, we can also use uh, tags. Uh, to select one or more windows, so in this one basically like I mean it's the, the window is uh, B, the widget class is a text and all windows is all and then we have some uh, arbitrary um, uh, string basically like foo, foo bar and these are all the various tags that we can apply. So now um, how do we specify events essentially. So the specifying events is through this um, the with this uh, less than greater than uh, and then we can also declare some modifiers which is here it is a double control meaning like um, you do the, the control key a couple of times and then essentially like there is a button press basically which is um, the event type actually and then you can also specify like I mean what kind of button or the key system that you want to uh, do. So the other ones are basically like, like number three, uh, key press, A kind of things. These are all like specifying various events. Now we can also like now uh, do some substitutions um, essentially. Um, the substitutions are essentially like I mean things that you get from the event and then you are substituting into your commands um, so one type of substitution is the percentage substitution in the binding script so you can get coordinates from events and the coordinates are in percentage x and percentage y and if you want to get the window that is percentage of its w and then you can also get a character from an event which is uh, percentage a and then there are many more which we will talk about so here some of this um, um, uh, one of the examples here again this is the particular window and here it is B1 motion basically and here what we do is basically it is uh, and this is the button press basically motion we move to that XY essentially so this is one of the events that you can say. And then now for another window there is a key press basically then we insert the character that is defined 
by uh, reading that uh, the the key press itself. So if you press F, this is substituted with F. If you press R, this is substituted with R. Things like that. So that comes up essentially. And then uh, here um, we say like uh, all. As you can see, basically, like the previous one, um, we noted that all the windows is basically like uh, that's for all. So for all of them, if you type help, that goes to that opens the help window. So these are some of the examples that um, we can see as to how to bind scripts. Um, um, so now we will be um, looking at this in a much more uh, details anyway. So now the binding order essentially. So what happens when you have multiple bindings that is matching one event? What takes precedence over what? So these are the ones um, that uh, we need to worry about in a graphical setup. In a regular programming setup, everything is executed one by one, as you know. Tickle is an interpreted language, so every line is executed uh, one after the other. But in a graphical motion, many events are happening at the same time. So, and then these, um, uh, what happens when you have like uh, the multiple bindings match one particular event? So, you can have like, for example, here. A and then you can also have let's say like bind all key press. So when you press the key, so this is triggered, this is triggered, which is triggered, and how it is triggered. So um, so there are very various uh, things that we can do. One is we can say like it's one binding triggers per tag. Uh, most specific uh, binding, this one. Um, there are also like I mean there is a default order of tags basically which is essentially like I mean first it goes to the widget then to the class then to top level then or so this is kind of the preference how it works so if it matches multiple um, uh, bindings it looks for the widget binding first then it goes into the class then it goes to the top level then the all thing is triggered. And then uh, this can also change tags with the bind tags command. So this is another command. So we learned about bind. Now it is bind tags. Um, and the bind tags command actually uh, changes one particular um, tags um, and apply to other types, um, other other tags as well. So here, like my button, and uh, basically, like when we say that um, it's dot b foo and then all. Uh, and then we can use break to skip the later tags. So again, one thing is basically um, the rules apply only to TK4.0 and later. Um, uh, so that's another thing that you may want to keep in mind. So some more um, uh, information about the bindings. Um, text and canvas widgets support bindings internally. So um, they associate tags with text or graphics um, basically. So here like a tag add foo one dot two dot or create rectangle one c two c one c one c two c two c and then the tags um, foo. And then the second thing is basically like the, they associate bindings with the tags. Okay. So another thing to notice is that the the bindings always Execute at the global level. If the binding created, uh, if the binding is created in the procedure, the procedures local variables aren't available at event time. Okay, so some more um, um, examples. So we may have to, um, we may often want uh, the binding script to use some information from the binding time and some from the event time. So we can use list commands to generate these scripts and use procedures to separate the event time information from the bind time information. So how do we do this? So here 
um, one typical one is essentially um, we say basically like bind uh, um, dot x in this dot x uh, window um, we want to bind the time value um, and we also want to use the event time value. So when we do like I mean the we say essentially like I mean either we use the um, the braces or quotes this can result in the wrong um, um, values that get uh, uh, called essentially or that gets uh, applied. So um, the correct way to do it is basically like we define a procedure and then we bind the procedure set y basically as a list and then uh, to this particular event that way we ensure that actually like I mean only the um, um, we pass this from the event into the um, this procedure and then the, the the other expressions are actually coming from the the bind time information though it is the bind time itself so the values are set there. Um, so the issue with this is essentially like I mean we are only getting one value, but we have like all these um, three different values essentially. And um, so this is coming from the event time, and this is the the bind time that is happening here. So it, this is like I mean passed through the event essentially. So we don't have any control as to what the dollar B is going to be. So whatever we use whether we use like the, so I think like you, you realize that this is basically the, the stricter form of um, the specification and whereas this one allows the uh, the variable substitution. So even if you do the variable substitution in the command substitution this value is still unknown. So this is you can get it in the bind time but this even time value is still not set properly. So in order to do that we actually need to pass it into a proc and the proc is always constant on the event time which tracks the event time and then now when you pass the, the bind time value into the proc here you can get the correct answer and that is what uh, comes out as the, the, the value for y and then you can continue that event mode further down. So this is again another example of how we use the list commands. Um, so again, we use here the list so that uh, it doesn't change. Basically, it still treats these two as two separate uh, items. Um, you'll see more of this kind of uh, things in the, the other one, other sections. Um, now the other TK commands. The so we saw like uh, bind. Pack, um, place, things like that. These are the commands that we saw for the TK. Now the next command is going to be selection, um, and then the selection essentially um, is um, is to select like I mean one of the, the files um, in a in a group essentially. So um, So the selection essentially like I mean it's, uh, it's, um, it registers a tickle command uh, to handle a selection request essentially. Um,
so in in a selection essentially um, the the concept is basically that uh, there is a given owner for a selection and the applications are requesting the value of the selection from that owner so you can think of it that way essentially so um, so the the x server itself keeps track of the ownership the applications uh, are informed uh, when some other application take away the ownership okay so usually the selection get goes hand in hand basically the selection get um, um, essentially it returns the value of the current selection so here selection get file name basically like returns that file name um, as the value essentially and if that file name does not exist basically like then this uh, returns uh, an error command itself returns an error. The other way to um, use this is um, essentially I mean so usually like I mean the selection get results in a string so this is the value that it returns. Um, the other way is to do it is basically like selection clear which clears whatever was selected before like a, a specified selection um, there is a selection handle um, essentially uh, which is essentially to define a, the whatever you can you can do a selection handle on a command essentially that command um, 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 basically like I mean so that you can define that command uh, to be the handler for the selection request. So the selection values are then passed into that uh, that particular command. Uh, then there are other ones are like the selection own command essentially um, which um, you know gives the uh, the path name of the window that owns that particular selection um, okay so and then the other one is uh, issuing commands uh, to other tk applications so here um, again um, we can send uh, the, these these kind of commands essentially so um, um, um we send tgdb um, like and then break tk eval this is the, the the command that we are sending it to this particular um, application and then um, we check for the the inter uh, ps essentially uh, using the w info command uh, and then we'll we'll get this this particular um, uh, um, TK application what is going on basically so we can use the socket to do the cross platform uh, application this we, we saw in the previous lecture itself and uh, also we can get the information regarding the window the window information the window information command is the w info and if we say like w info width of uh, this particular window it returns what is the width of the window and then um, what are the children basically so what are the associated windows uh, which are defined as part of the dot x or here it is the top level so you see all the ones and then uh, it also like uh, you can ask in specific requests as to what is the window info containing this particular location what is the uh, window there. And um, for accessing uh, the other uh, x facilities. Uh, there is also like focus dot x dot y which is the uh, generate the keyboard focus um, there is also like we can communicate with the window manager which is uh, wm command essentially so title is um, for this window it is editing main C so when you have a window the title bar has editing main dot C. And then we can also set the window manager for the geometry. So this is like a, at the top level, it's 300, 
by 200 and then we can also like iconify that means that basically that it generates like those uh, minus plus and then the exit command so if you minus it then basically that you can go and uh, iconify that uh, particular window so that, that those features are available for this one and then for deleting the window basically like we can use the destroy command basically the destroy dot x will destroy this one so you can mark the x as basically like I mean bind that thing to destroy x or something basically so this way you can uh, destroy the dot x uh, window and then uh, there is also like the grab and grab release commands basically that is you can grab a particular window to do some operations and then also um, you can uh, destroy that uh, that that um, that window so now here um, essentially um, a show wars command basically this is uh, displays values of one or more um, values are essentially like uh, variables and it updates automatically. So, here we specify like show wars dot wars and then name, age, SSN, and form. So, it displays like the variable values and then uh, in that window it shows like what is the name, this is Bob, age 34, social security number, and then also has a phone number. So, these are some of the other commands. So um, here is the show wars um, uh, procedure basically um, again it takes the window and then the arguments this is the top level um, again we name the window title as um, um, variable values as you can see here the display here and then we specify like I mean what kind of um, uh, frame that we want. Uh, which defines all these aspects of it all the frame element how that frame is defined and then um, we also specify the button is basically like I mean this is uh, the frame is essentially like for the menu uh, button um, and then uh, we pack that on the side top uh, with fill and then uh, we specify the menu button um, menu file so you can see like basically like the dollar w is the main window the top level which is the dot and then it has a one child menu and then another child uh, file and then this file is basically like a, we call it like the text as file and then we specify it to its own attributes essentially and then that has this m so if you look at here that is this this particular window here and then we also like now pack the thing and then we also define here as a menu it is another sub um, um, module or the um, another child for this particular menu um, window. So uh, and then in that one we define basically like we pack it to the left so from the left we pack it and then we specify basically what is the thing so as you can see here the file has this thing called quit so we specify the command as label is quit and the command is actually destroy the and then uh, so if you want to underline the first one that is underline 0 is also the underline 0 so f is underlined so um, also it is also given like a shortcut basically as we can click on f to open it and those things like that. So here the label uh, quit and then we say like the destroy the whole window uh, using the destroy command mainly so that uh, if you say quit it completely like erases the, this window. So again a quick uh, look into this um, now we can actually add this portion of it on top of it uh, so we will see 
So now the next one which is the, the second piece of it so here again um, so all these things are these dot represent the, the previous thing so we define these things so in, in this one um, let me just share some of it. So we covered this portion and this portion in this next uh, when we define this entire procedure. So now we will go into how do we get this piece of it. So for that first we need to define the, the variable values so which is just this much. So how do we do it basically we again define the frame um, and then so here now we have like this one as um, the dollar w dot menu now this portion will be called this window is called dollar w dot bot and then that we are packing from the bottom so we are and then uh, title is anchor at the center is variable values and then we use like which kind of um, font that we want to use uh, so and then the title is essentially like I mean we packed it um, the top of this particular box so now let us look at the next one. So now um, the main thing is uh, the show bars we need to display the names um, age social security number and the telephone for that we again describe um, few more the when we read the args essentially like this is where the args are coming in and then we are going to expand that. So for each of those arguments we define the frame which is the same as uh, the argument so it's name so it has a name on it and then that is set to the top then that has the text of whatever the argument that is passed so for the name it is just the name then now we also assign a value which is the text variable dollar i which is it is getting it from the, um, the, the flow itself basically there is no binding there and then uh, finally um, um, we have a name um, basically like um, and that is um, side left side and then the value is um, so the way that we are assigned is basically we have now is name and the value so we put the name first and then the value okay so here the name refers to the basically like dollar i dot name and then the dollar value is this dollar i dot value which is basically like in this case it is Bob and then this we do it for all the uh, arguments that uh, is specified through the show off command. So essentially like I mean it does it for name then it does it for ages age and then SSN and then finally the phone number. So uh, I hope like I mean this example was uh, clear enough uh, how we can uh, get to this point. Um, once again so simple start with the show wars essentially like I mean which is um, going to the dot wars um, um, window and then we want to uh, display name age social security number and phone number. So we start by specifying the top level window the top level window is nothing but um, essentially um, it has variable values as the banner and then uh, in the frame we specify how the frame is being made and then where do we put the text essentially and then we also create a, an another one another uh, child window which is um, the menu essentially yeah so that menu again uh, it becomes a, a button essentially and then uh, it has then text as file and then we create another child um, window underneath it which is called quit which essentially um, gets this window 
um, out. Now, once we define the top level stuff, then now we have to define um, the all the remaining stuff. For that, we uh, build the window into two separate um, things basically. So, we build first the variable values and then we can populate this from the flow itself. Um, so, this is something that uh, we saw here. this one so basically the even time versus bind time so um, in order to do that uh, what we need to do is first we define this particular window which is also not very challenging we define another child window called the w bot uh, w dot bot uh, and then we define its attributes what kind of uh, uh, button it has basically and then um, what is the uh, text that goes into that um, once we do that then we populate the remaining stuff which is uh, the what is the name what is the age what is the certificate number and phone number and for that we just um, use a for each command uh, to generate for each one of them like uh, for name for age for SSN and phone and the types that we want to build are essentially again uh, we need to do another child uh, window the child window will be like just the name alone then the age then SSN then form in the name one we define two variables one is this name so which is just prints whatever is assigned here and then this one gets to the event uh, modification so um, I think like this is one example. Um, I also want you to actually practice this uh, more so that uh, you can understand the concepts more better. Uh, so once you start writing the TK code, then uh, you will be fine. You should be able to figure out uh, all these uh, event-driven things. One of the key aspects of any uh, Windows or graphical user interface uh, kind of Things is this um, event driven mode essentially. So everything is an event when you move the mouse, it's an event, and how do you capture and how do you react to it? That's the bottom line. So now the second uh, example that we will look into is uh, the making a dialog box essentially. So a dialog box is um, mainly like a window like this where it pops up during some uh, program execution it asks you for a separate several uh, one question it asks you one question and it has separate uh, several choices and then you can click one of them and then uh, that particular thing is executed. So uh, in the TK terms uh, we can say that basically so make dialog is the command name. And then dollar D is the window man window name, or sorry dot D is the window name. And now we have a title which is called file modified. And then what kind of uh, message is this? So we tap it as like dollar message. So warning. And then we also have the button labels here. So um, each one will generate one button here. So this changes and so how does this work essentially? So um, at the high level, this is the command that make dialog. But underneath that, what do you have to write? It's basically it's the, it's the procedure to make dialog, and um, it has these different things essentially. This is the window itself, its title, the text, the bitmap, and then the various arguments. So we define the top level as w um, dollar w, and then we assign the title title to this particular um, 
window. Then we also create some um, window manager protocol, basically, which is um, it just says basically like how do we delete this particular window. And then we define a child uh, window, which is the dollar w dot top. And then this child window, and then we also um, the child window is um, actually like for this uh, uh, top is packed at the top level, at the, the topmost point. And then uh, we also have a similar one for um, the bottom side, which is again um, um, another child window. Like w uh, dot bot and that goes into the bottom and now we can also specify some label uh, the label is essentially the text uh, that we grab um, so here the text is like the, you have modified the file food or tickle um, and do you wish to save your scope so simple command uh, but it takes a while before we can execute. So now, once uh, we finish basically this uh, packing, basically as uh, the first one, um, now what do we do? So if you don't provide any um, bitmap, um, actually, like when you when you provide the bitmap, when the bitmap is not null, then it um, adds that bitmap essentially. So we have a new window called bitmap, uh, and then we pack it towards the left side, uh, and then it is packed. Um, on the left it is uh, 3 millimeter by y is 2 millimeter so that is how this text is being displayed here once we finish this then now we need to put the last bit which is the, the bottom window uh, so for that the command is basically like set i equal to 0 for each um, button in the set of arguments we create the button essentially as a child process to the main one and then we call the button as the dollar button essentially as the same text uh, format that we call um, and then we also assign uh, the command set button dollar uh, w dollar i so once we do that then we need to pack basically this one and the way that we pack is essentially the one, two, three, this way. Uh, and then we um, go into the next uh, uh, next um, and grab the next um, uh, button. And then finally, um, we use the button. So here, if you notice, basically the buttons are either save file, discard changes, or return to it. So um, we do the um, we grab the global uh, I mean actually like we define this flow button uh, dollar w and then um, we grab that window manager set old focus to focus and then um, we do this uh, focus for the window and then uh, we just uh, um, variable uh, we get we do a TK weight or uh, variable uh, button and dollar w and then we destroy that window and then focus it, the is uh, another command focus command is for the the old focus and then we just uh, return the evaluation with uh, the button okay so in summary. Uh, creating interfaces in TK is an easy uh, way basically we can create widgets we can arrange with the, the geometry managers connect to applications and to each other so these are all some of the key benefits of 
TKL. And then um, always, I mean, it's better basically to have a single scripting language that um, you can use for a variety of things. So whether in to specify a user interface, whether you want to, or some widgets to invoke an application, the widgets basically to communicate with each other. Um, for communicating with outside world is another one, and then for changing anything dynamically. So, um, in summary, um, yeah. So, in summary, we saw like a couple of programs. Before that, we started with. Um, the key bindings essentially bindings as uh, one of the key aspects of um, um, of uh, TK. Um, So and then the bindings essentially like um, we actually bind commands and uh, to various events essentially in the bind uh, using the bind command. Um, so why is this useful? Essentially, um, um, this is the way that we can execute commands when uh, user presses the the uh, any kind of um, keys or any any interaction that the user has. Uh, we can immediately uh, do a, um, bind that event to a particular command and then we can execute that command. And then um, we went into like I mean uh, specifying like what kind of uh, specific events are there and we also understood how to do substitutions within the bindings and then what is the order of uh, the bindings because multiple events can happen. Um, or even can actually trigger multiple bindings. Now, which binding gets the priority or gets the preference? That's the key thing. And then one way to do that is essentially um, to um, um, so it it goes in the default order of the tags. Essentially, that is widget followed by class followed by top level and then followed by all so there is a hierarchy there and that we need to keep in mind um, and then um, essentially like I mean we have like text and also like uh, the canvas widgets that, that are support uh, that support bindings internally um, so here is a text one basically which is like the tag is uh, already specifying internal bindings and then um, for uh, Creating a rectangle, we need basically the length, width, uh, um, height, uh, actually like length and width of the rectangle. So that's again through this uh, command we can specify. Now we have like two concepts basically there is the binding time and uh, event time um, and how do we do this essentially um, because um, any script would want some information from the bind time meaning if you are interactively selecting and then uh, something from the event time which is uh, driven through the time. Um, so uh, how do we do that how do we select uh, those things. We cannot use a single modifier like uh, we taught we learned in uh, tickle programming, which is like the curly braces or uh, the quotes. The quotes is a soft matching or essentially it tries to replace all the variables and uh, the command names, whereas the other one does not do it. But we cannot use both of them, so we go into an intermediate form where we use list to actually separate these items and not uh, having to collide with each other. So once we have that list, uh, essentially, like so that is we specify here. What we need to specify inside is based on um, um, 
how deep you want to go essentially and then uh, um, essentially here the set y is actually a proc which now keeps track of the um, the um, the binding time information only like I mean we pass this dollar uh, a into that particular procedure and that is an event uh, event driven mode and then now you get the result and then you can compare essentially. And then we also saw some other uh, TK commands like selection get is one of them, um, and then which is essentially uh, gives a reliable uh, um, event basically like in in the memory. Uh, and then when we want to issue commands to other uh, TK applications, um, basically we set these two params and then uh, run the command, and then it should be fine. And then we can also like uh, get uh, Windows information uh, that is W in for weight, W in for children, W in for containing dollars, things like that. And then we can also access uh, the keyboard uh, uh, focus um, using the focus command. Uh, so uh, So the the focus command essentially So they are part of the the dialog boxes themselves essentially, um, and then um, so the the top level window uh, essentially has the input focus essentially, and then um, you can require the focus to change from one to the other. So or you can specify the keyboard to be the focus, which is using the dollar x dollar y. Principle or the syntax, and then we can also communicate with other window, uh, communicate with the, your own window manager using the WM command, which is stands for Windows Manager, and then we can destroy any window using uh, destroy dot x, uh, and then there are some ads essentially. Then we looked at a uh, couple of examples. The first example being the show wars example as to how to write this. So show ours is essentially um, there is a procedure um, and um, so um, as with any other procedure the show ours has um, um, the variables essentially and then the arguments uh, I am sorry the dot wars is the window and then the, the arguments so um, this is the window. So in this window how do we specify things basically like so we are building the whole program here so we call this as the show wars procedure which has the window and then the whole bunch of arguments again here you can see that actually this is left as a infinite list. And then now we set the top level to be the name of the window. Then uh, we put the uh, the title as uh, variable values. Then we generate uh, new windows from the original one. And here, like I mean, it's uh, it's called the um, menu and using the frame command. So this is this is the child one. We can uh, um, see what I mean. We can show what is the uh, the text for this one. Uh, and then uh, what are the menus essentially um, and now the the menu itself can have additional uh, child for example if you want to define width 
uh, which, uh, which destroys the whole window you can put it there. And then uh, we also continued with that and then uh, we looked at the remainder of the program essentially so here we generate another child window called the dot bot and then in the dot bot um, we can actually um, specify the variable values and still it is not done uh, there is one more part which is now we have to show all the various pieces of it and basically what is the user specified uh, ones essentially and then for each one of them we need to now go and find out uh, from the event mode uh, what is the value of uh, the various variables and then substitute those values in the, in the main output and then you are done. So here um, we specify like two items uh, so um, so for each one in the menu basically we define a new um, windows and then we say like how to pack it and what to anchor on and then um, um, basically um, these are all in terms of like the name value pairs so the bottom ones are all like name value pairs so that uh, once we fetch the name we know the what is the value. So that was one one uh, quick example, and then the other example was uh, the make dialog box, which is uh, uh, again specified as make dialog dot d, then file modified dollar message warning, and then we save file discard changes from the control. So the when this dialog box opens, basically you will see that there is some message here, and then it has these three buttons: save file, discard changes, and return to editor. And then um, essentially like so how to build it is um, again um, um, we have the input which is already specified and then we define the top level uh, top level window and then uh, we define a tile for it then um, we can do like um, um, delete any kind of window basically like which is embedded uh, thing already there and then um, that's pretty much it. So once we have this um, this um, this window covered, then uh, uh, essentially, like now, what we need to do is we need to bring up the various buttons as bitmaps. So um, here again, like I mean, we're passing the bitmap basically, which is uh, uh, and then um, we just uh, pack those things in. Then we want to also generate um, for each of the arguments we need to generate a button. So we know that the arguments are save file, discard changes and uh, return to editor. So for that we need to um, put some file for that. And now the last one essentially which is um, what kind of um, things it will say so we basically we um, grab the window and then we set the old focus to the new focus and then focus we change to the top level window and then we wait uh, with the variable uh, and for the button press and then in that case like then we destroy the W. And then say the old focus, and then uh, we go back to where we come from. So, in summary, essentially, like I mean, uh, creating interfaces with the TK is very easy. It creates widgets, and then we can arrange with the geography, geometry manager, and then uh, we can connect to applications uh, and also with each other. So. Uh, I think I'm going to stop at this point. We'll continue from uh, this in the next uh, lecture. Okay. Hey, Sandeep.